Welcome back to Art, Mind and Soul here at Bethlehem Museum of the Mind. Today, and in two films to come, we are looking at the artwork of the illustrator Louis Wayne, who was well known a hundred years ago for his depictions of cats in various human guises, walking through the park, drinking tea, playing cricket, and so on. Wayne loved cats, and everyone who loved cats loved him. But I suspect that many of his cartoons were really drawn to poke fun at human behavior. The picture I'm standing next to uh, shows a feline exponent of phrenology looking for telltale bumps on the head of a client. Phrenology was the pseudoscience that sought insight into personality and character traits from the contours of the cranium. It was the pop psychology of the late 19th and early 20th centuries in the same way as personality tests are the pop part of pop psychology today. And in this picture, Wayne is bursting its bubble. The signs on the wall at the back of the picture tell you everything you need to know. One reads, what you are fit for. The phrenologist will advise you on your strengths and weaknesses with all the accuracy of a Myers-Briggs tester. Another sign bears a version of the popular saying, nothing ventured, nothing gained or we might say today, no pain, no gain. A pithy line promoting the power of positive thinking that would be worthy of any horoscope reading. The last sign at the top tells us that the cat phrenologist is open from 10 till 6, Monday to Friday. His work is good business because people are instinctively drawn to labeling and classifying themselves and others. The glee on the cat practitioner's face tells us that he loves his work and we may guess he has no shortage of credulous clients. It's clear that Louis Wayne had his doubts about the pop psychology of his day, but that he also knew the way the world worked. He is using his cats to hold up a mirror in front of our own lives and he is inviting us to see ourselves for who we truly are and not to take ourselves too seriously.